Hi everybody, it's Kelly. Um, I know I'm really quick on the tales of the last Happy Mail video, but I got a really neat surprise today. Um, I got a couple of Happy Mails in. Well, one, one was a Happy Mail, two were from Swap. Anyways, um, and I wanted to show you what I did with some of my Happy Mail from my last video. So, the first one I'm going to show you is... Um, I got my pocket letter from our poodle mama, Stacy Evans. So I got hers today. I was really happy about that. And it's really, really pretty. She sent me a note. She says, Kelly, I hope you like the pocket letter and the glossy cardstock. Thanks for being a great friend. Give dad a big hug for me. Love, Stacy. Yeah, dad and I had both gone down there. Um, helping Stacy move her craft room from one room to the other and I'll tell you what it was a great idea because the room she was in <laughs> um, like yeah it, it looks like a closet compared to where she's at now and she's so much happier where she is and it looks so good she did a really good job with that room and uh, she sent me some glossy cardstock because I was having trouble learning how to work with the alcohol ink um, that's it's still a new new thing for me. So she sent me some glossy cardstock to help me out. So thank you very much, Stacy. And I believe looks like this had glue on it, but I believe this fell off the front of the pocket letter. So and she sent me some little flash cards. Let me see. Garnik. I don't know if that's German on the back. I think it's so. Or Gumpson. I'm not sure. Yeah, or, yeah, anyway, but it's English on one side, and Dregarten, it looks German on the other, but I'm not sure, you know, I, that's one language I didn't learn very much of, I know a little bit of, well, I know French, I know a little bit of Spanish, um, and I think I can count to ten in German, that's about it, but um, these are really awesome, I like these cards, and then I'll show you the pocket where she sat, very beautiful, See if I can keep the. I'll hold it up closer so you can see it. Very, very pretty. Very vintagey garden. Not quite shabby chic. Um, but I really, really love it. And then on the back, she sent me some goodies. Some butterflies. Those look like some kites and banners. Some owls, which I might have to show Dad, but I might have to hide them from him because he really likes owls. Some flatback pearl stickers. Some uh, foil discs, uh, metallic discs. She sent me some fibers, but it looks like there's a paper clip in it, so I want to take that out and see what that is. Because I love the colors on this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Let me get my finger, my fat fingers out of the way. Can you guys see that? Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, let's see if we can get the nope, shadow wrong way. Up a little higher. Uh focus. Dag nebit. Anyways, that is really beautiful, Stacy. Thank you so much. I love these colors. Actually, I'm going to set that right here. And she sent me some graphics. Very beautiful. Oh, and some die cut hearts. Those will be great to play with, especially on the jelly plate. Oh, let's see. Oops. <clears throat> Oh, look how pretty. Let's see those. Let's see if it'll help with the focus. 
who's that one? She looks like one of those um, 1920s silent screen actresses. And she just looks so very beautiful and elegant. Thank you so much, Stacy. This was so beautiful. Oops. <clears throat> There's one more thing I want to check out before. Oh, good grief. Okay. And it's these. Oh, those are nice. Look at those. They're like little bitty tags that she made from scraps. to turn that a little bit. There we go. Now we can see it. I love those. Thank you so much, Stacy. This was so beautiful. I'm going to set these aside. Right up there. And then I'm going to put these. I'm going to kind of leave them right there as long as they don't topple over because there's something I want to show you guys under there. And then there was a mini junk journal challenge with uh, Divine Craft Divas and I sent in my junk journal that seemed to take forever to get to them but it finally got there and um, I won so I was really really tickled and that oh okay it's also from Creative Jewels by Emily it was a it was a joint effort you know so it's from Divine Craft Divas and uh, Creative Jewels by Emily. You should check out their channels along with Stacy at Pink Poodle Craft Pink Poodle Craft Creative Playground. I believe that's what it is. Um, their work is just awesome. Stacy was my is still my mentor. Her and uh, Melissa Tanner. Um, I learned a lot from uh, Stacy and I will always give credit to anything I learned from her to her because that's how it should be I believe but this is what I won I won a stencil and those look like those those little dandelion hell or not dandelion but those little helicopter leaves that come down in the fall but that's pretty cool can also be used as butterfly wings, angel wings, just a great stencil all the way around. Birds, set that aside. And then there's a pen and a notebook. It's very, very beautiful. It's a pretty good sized notebook too. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Okay, so we'll have to open it like this and this and pull that off. There we go. Oh, it's got a little magnet closure and an ink pen that comes with it, which I'm not going to pull off right at the moment. But look at that. Isn't that great? And the paper's inside. It's got the Eiffel Tower at the bottom. Get my finger out of the way. It's very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Emily and Ray. And the card says, congrats. We hope that you like your prize for the mini journal. Thanks for participating. Divine Craft Divas. Look at the cute little kitty cat with the leprechaun hat on. And then this is a large tag book from Studio K. And it came with a beautiful embellishment. It says love on it. But I'm eager to open this up and see what this is all about. It came wrapped in a really pretty pink ribbon. Set that with that. Let's see. Ah. 
Oh, check this out. I guess you can do it this way if you wanted, you know, from side to side. Or you can do it from, lift it from bottom to top or from top to bottom. It's got one signature in it, but it looks really easy to add some more along the lines of the way Jane Davenport does with hers, you know, where you can put an extra signature in there and then put like a, an elastic band around it to hold it in. That way you can add or remove what you want. This is really nice. Really nice. Thank you so much. Set that right there. And... You know, I usually keep most, all, well, almost all of my uh, packaging, my uh, material packaging. But sometimes, um, if it's really, really thin, like this piece is really, really thin, um, I won't keep that. It just, I've got so much recyclable stuff packed up right now, or stacked up. So I've got a little ways to go before I can use that. And then I got my, uh, my Inchy and Twinchy Schwab. Schwab. I really need my teeth, guys. Say a prayer, okay? I really need my teeth. And then Dad says it'll be no fun. So, look, Lucky Charms. She used that to help uh, support the envelope. But this one is from Tammy Swafford. And she was my swap partner for Inchies and Twinchies. Look at this paper with these faces on it. Aren't those fabulous? I love those. And let's open the envelope to see what goodies. I haven't opened this one. I just kind of opened it to look at this and I figured I would look at these on, on camera. Oh, awesome. She said, hi, Kelly. Thanks for being my swap partner. By the way, I did receive yours. I wanted to post the pictures. I just haven't gotten around to it. They're beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy. But look at the back of that. It's the Coliseum in Rome. I love that picture. It's one place I've always wanted to go to. Let's see. Oh, she went high tech. Okay, let's put this out of the way right there. And let's turn this upside down so we can see these. Oh, wow, look how beautiful. Look at those. Look at the colors on those. Those are fabulous. And they came wrapped. I'm, I'm getting used to um, packaging things correctly. A lot of times I get so excited about, you know, sending stuff out. I'm just constantly popping stuff in envelopes, you know, and setting them aside. And then I'll pop something else in in a little while and I'll pop something else in. And so sometimes, usually when the, when the receiver gets it, it's kind of a big mess. And I do apologize to any of you who have received a happy mail from me that has turned out that way. Oh, wow. Look at that. With Tammy, you totally outdid yourself. This was beautiful. And she separated them. Oh, look at the ta Oh, this is two-sided. Look at the back of this one. And then the colors on the front of this one. Can you see that? Those are so pretty. Oh, look at that crackle on that. Let me see if I can get it up there close enough so you guys can see that. There we go. Look at that crackle. I'm going to have to learn how to do that. That looks really, really cool. Sorry, I moved my coffee cup out of the way. Oh, 
Oh, and the the colors on this one are beautiful with the crackle. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I would love to know how you get all these layers. That's something I've been working on is learning how to do layers without turning everything into a big mud pile. Look how beautiful. Okay, focus. I know you can focus. You've done it before. Oh, don't blink out on me, you dummy. Okay, what's that? Is that too close? Is that why you're not focusing? Huh. wonder if I did it this way. Those colors are so deep, so beautiful. And we've got some more. Oh, and she even did Rin Cheese, which I just discovered. They're inch and a half circle tiles. I didn't know those existed. I just called them punch punches, you know, circle punches. But look how pretty those are. Look at that. Ooh, I love that one. Okay, I'm going to put them all in my hand so I don't go through these one at a time. So I'm supposed to be online here in a few minutes. Well, I'm not supposed to be, but I, I promised I would be. So... Look at all of these. They almost look like, like seashells. There's that one. And that one. Aren't they beautiful? Set these down. And then she sent me some more twinchies. Oh, these are gorgeous. I'll just go through these fairly quickly, but these are beautiful. Uh, let me see if I can do this from behind. Nope, I'm not that coordinated. Okay, so we'll do that. How about I do it this way? There we go. I'll set them like that. Oh my gosh, I love the stamping and the stenciling and the patterning on these. See that? Let's see if I can get them a little bit closer. These are fabulous. I'm embarrassed to send mine out. You guys have just totally blown me away. With a little teacup. Oh, and on the back of them, she's named some of them. Like graffiti. <laughs> yeah. You okay, Dad? I know, never ask somebody if they're okay in the middle of a coughing fit. That's like totally rude. It's like, what are they going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Blah, 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 pop, there goes a lung. These are so nice, gritty. Oh, I love these. Look at the back of that one. Yep, I guess this is a style she calls graffiti. And I'll tell you what, I am in love with it. Look at that. Even the backs. Thank you so much, Tammy. These are just fabulous. I don't even know another word I can use. Spectacular? Tubular? That's like totally 80s. Totally Ninja Turtles. Could go Valley Girl, but I don't think that would fly. Dad sounds really funny when he does Valley Girl, though. Like, gag me with a pitchfork. 
Gag me with a spoon. God, it's been so long. I was like way in the 80s. That is so cool. Right there with those two faces. I seriously totally feel under talented, you guys. These are so beautiful. And look at this one. I love that. I think there are some women that can pull off a bald head and be absolutely beautiful. Like to have hair on their head would be, would take away from their beauty. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers, but Grace Jones, she was, she played in Conan the Barbarian and a couple of others, but uh, she could wear um, a hairless head beautifully. She was one beautiful woman. But thank you so much, Tammy. These are beautiful. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them now because I'm, I might just put them on a canvas, to be honest, and make, just put them all up on one canvas and frame it because they're that, that incredible to me. I'm so amazed at the level of talent uh, from the women that, and the men that I've been associated with since I started the crafting um, a couple years ago. Um, it just, it just totally blows me away. It really does. Thank you so, so very much, Tammy. I love them. And the last thing, that's the last of my happy mouse. So thank you, Tammy. <clears throat> thank you, Emily and Ray. And thank you, Miss Stacy, our poodle mama, for the beautiful gifts that you guys have sent me. This is going to go into my, I've got a, a three and a half inch wide binder that I keep all my pocket letters in. I'll take the goodies out, but I keep my pocket letters in there. And if they're not signed, I'll put a little piece of um, that frog tape on it. You know, that green or blue painter's tape. And I'll put the name and the date of who sent me the pocket letter. So I know, you know, later on who it was from. And I keep them all in a uh, just a, a binder. It's one of those three and a half inch wide ones because I also keep all my blank uh, pocket letter sleeves in them as well. So let me put that over here. <clears throat> now I know I've mentioned in a couple of videos when you when you run out of scrap paper. I, I, thankfully, I still have quite a bit to use. Um, you know, I've been spraying and. Um, another thing you can use, like when you need rub offs or to break roll offs, that's it. Get your words together, Kelly. Untangle your daggum tongue. Um, when you need a place for like backdrops or um, roll offs from your brayer, or if you have extra paint on your palette, something along those lines, um, you can put them on scrap paper and use them for decoupage later on. That's fine. But I did, I don't remember where I, I think it, I got inspired by uh, those beautiful envelopes that I get when people send me Happy Mail. Uh, like the one I showed not too, a couple days ago that was so beautiful was the one from Mar Mar Maribel? Maribel. Um, and it was a long number 10 size envelope and she had painted it green and with uh, shamrocks all over it. It was just fabulous. But another thing, see I was using this for my spray offs last night, but another thing you can do is if you have some blank cards, card bases, okay, you can do your roll offs on or, you know, jelly print on. So when you get ready to do a card, you have something already done or as a part of a signature in a journal, you know, so you've got those. Um, I like doing strips because I like the results that come out after you do you pull the second print when you do strips of paper. I didn't say I like it to strip. People would go running, would probably pay me money to put clothes back on. So I was not implying that, trust me. Okay, but some of the, the, the textures and stuff you get out of them are really, really cool. 
and I was playing with the stuff that Karen Chasseur, ha, ah, see, I got that right, um, had sent me in, um, in her goodie bag the other day, you know, and the stamps, the one stamp she sent, I hadn't even thought about using my stamps on a jelly plate, but I would, I'd use it on the jelly plate, and then I'd print off on something, and then, just awesome, but I got some really beautiful uh, colors from strips of paper, and it also left me with some beautiful prints when I pulled up the prints. Now I'm not finished with some of these, but do envelopes like that. I'm obviously not done with. Okay, but that one. Actually, I ran. I did the paint, put the stencil on, pulled the print. And I didn't like the print as much as when I put the stencil that had the paint on it, flipped it over and put it on top of here and rolled the brayer over it to transfer the paint from the stencil. This looked so much better. I like that a lot more. But yeah, do your envelopes. You know? Even if you don't know what you're going to use them for yet. Some people put them in journals. Some people will send little happy mouse. Some people will send cards. Let's see, there's one. It's got some greens and some... Oh, let me see if I can get you the color without the glare. All right. That's a little bit. I'm back on that side. And I was going to go through with um, some stamps and some black stays on ink and just, you know, do some more doodle or doodle, you know, because I haven't done that yet. And I sprayed the inside with yellow. Yellow alcohol. See, now this is what I was what I did with one of the stamps, or this one actually, that I got from Karen. Um, I had already pulled a couple prints with the envelope, okay? And then I had set it aside, and then I put some more paint on my jelly, on my jelly plate, and I was taking this, and I was going over like this, back and forth, back and forth. And that's what I was getting. And then what I was left on the jelly plate you know, was fabulous, and I'd pull a print from that, too. Like, here's some, a number 10 envelope. And this is what I mean about doing strips of paper. Can you see, I really turned that. Let me see if I can't move that a little bit, because the glare just really seems bright. Maybe it's because I used too many metallics. But you can see the strips, you know, along the, along the page. And I like that look. This is another card base that I did inside and out, but I was doing this as my roll off. It's blue with a yellow background. And then I did the back. And I just started using some alcohol inks and just started spraying. See, this one I did pink and green, and I wasn't thinking, but I could have done pink stamps on this side and green stamps on that side, and that would have looked a little better, but I like it. Okay. I've showed you this before. I haven't used them yet, but, you know, I had extra paint, so I just painted some bubble envelopes that I had. Now, this one I just went to town on. I used a stencil, and then I used this thing, and, and then this side I just kind of used it as a mop-up for whatever was left. And this is one of those big envelopes. Not quite finished with it yet. The back's got some metallic peridot. And the same with this one. It's very faint. The back is a little bit more bright. It's got some greens and some pinks and uh, some rose gold on it. And here you can see some of the honeycomb. What I did was I put this on um, the jelly plate. And I'd pull the paint up from the jelly plate. And then I would lay it over on top of this and pull it down push it down and then just lift it up and I'd get the small honeycomb effect. I only did it on one side. But I love this linen uh, 
weave paper. You can see it better on the back, I think. You see that? Isn't that neat? I love that texture. And I did another card base. I haven't done the inside, but, you know. And if you don't use them in, as a card or as a part of a signature, you can still um, run it through your die cut machine, use die cuts on it. Um, I don't know, there's just so many things you can do. Um, yeah, I still got more. I didn't even finish, but um, I have a roll of cement tape that my dad gave me, and I just took a piece of this and laid it right across the top of my jelly plate after I painted, and then pulled it up, and it left really neat, a uh, really neat grid pattern. Um, and I believe that was it. I've got my uh, 500 subby giveaway prize package almost ready. And when I get closer to 500, I'm almost there. Um, last time I checked, I was at 417. So thank you very much. Um, if you want to be in the running for the drawing, um, you have to be subscribed. Okay. Um, you have to like the video and share the video, and each time you share it, you'll get an extra entry. Like if you share it to Pinterest, um, you share it to your blog at Blogspot, um, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook. You know, if you show me the link underneath the video that I'm, I'll do when I do the 500 video or 500 subby giveaway. Those are each extra extra entries okay I had two winners when I reached 300 and depending on um, I'm gonna try and have two more winners so it depends on what the turnout is like for the video because if I have if I've only got like 10 people that 10 entries then there's just gonna be one winner but if I get over like 30 or 40 then I'll add another prize so we'll do first prize, second prize, that type of thing. But And on that note, I'm going to go. I'm a few minutes late for my video, or for my um, participation in uh, Melissa's 70 Acre Studios. Um, she's doing her live stream, Cranky, or Cranky Crafter. I, I don't remember what it's called. Forgive me. But um, like I said, if you like my videos, click subscribe. Click the thumbs up. If you want notifications of when I'm gonna when I post my next video, click the little bell right next to the subscribe button. Um, leave me a comment. Please be kind. <laughs> I'm very delicate. Uh, what's that word called? A delicate. You know the women where they always had to have you know like smelling salts instead of punching the guy out. Constitution. That's it. I have a delicate constitution, so be nice. Okay, stop laughing, Dad. I'm just kidding. I'm really a snot, okay? Okay. I figured he'd start laughing, and I was waiting for his comments from the funny gallery because I haven't heard any yet today. But um, thank you again. Remember the humor in life. If you do not find humor in life, life sucks. Um, have a great weekend, and God bless. Bye.